Hey everybody, Michael DiTullo here with another designer unboxing. I need to get some hiking shoes. I live in Oregon, it's winter, it's rainy. I uh, like to go outside and do a little bit of hiking. And so I wanted to get some, some light hiking shoes, not like crazy boots or anything. I started to do some research and uh, I started looking into Sorel. I have a bunch of friends that work there. And so I reached out to get a little bit of a, of a hookup. So I was excited to get this pair from Sorel. First time I've ever gotten product from them. For those of you who don't know this brand, they've been around since about 1962. And traditionally they had made super intense, like waterproof boots, like stuff you would find on like a North Pole expedition type of a product uh, way back in the day. Now they make um, a lot of different waterproof products uh, for hiking and light hiking. And you can find them in Nordstrom or REI and a bunch of other stores. Uh, but my first time getting a product from them, so let's dig in. Simple, just all black shoe box here. I got the uh, the Mac Hill. It's kind of like a, a sneaker boot. I'm not, not too much of like a, a hiking boot kind of a person. So this is kind of like a nice little crossover and they're supposed to be really lightweight. So let's let's dig in and check these out. Interesting, little divider in the box here. I've never seen something like that. So, Mac Hill. Why I wanted to get these was, why I picked these two reasons. One, they're, they're fully waterproof. Uh, and you can see there's a little waterproof marking on it right here. Uh, so they're, they're, um, they're all seam sealed. So you can see this, there's, there's barely any stitching on this product. All of these different layers of materials um, are actually welded on. And you can see there's a, a seam between two different materials here. And this is a, a, a piece of tape that's actually welded on to prevent any water from getting into that seal. Even all the eyelets are reinforced uh, with this welded on material. And just very few stitches because stitches are always an area where uh, water can intrude because you're basically, even if you have a waterproof material, like this looks like a ripstop nylon here, that's waterproof, but by stitching it, you're essentially puncturing a bunch of holes in it. So I'm gonna assume that this is all seam sealed on the backside to prevent water from intruding. Let's check it out. Well, it's really stuffed. Let's see what's going on inside here. Let's see if we can tell. It's gonna get lined, but maybe we could feel. Let's see. Yeah, it feels like there's probably another, basically like this tape on the inside to prevent those stitches um, from kind of creating water intrusion points. You can see kind of how See how this material goes over the stitches here? You can kind of see the stitches through. That's basically what's probably going on on the inside, even though I can just barely feel it, but it's it's fully lined, I can't see it. Let's see what else is going on with the shoe. A little bit of a, an asymmetrical toe. Uh, it's it's kind of nice, mainly probably just for style, but if you do drag your toe on something, like this is where it's gonna drag. So nice little bit of protection on this, um, feels almost like a shoulder mesh, just like a really tightly woven mesh. Um, one of the reasons why I picked this is because it was touted as being very lightweight. Hiking boots can get just kind of heavy, right? Usually, they usually will be a full rubber bottom or kind of a rubber and PU, but this is feels more like an EVA bottom. So it's super light and then there's just rubber in in kind of these kind of contact areas here so you do get some traction and some good wearability. We'll see how, how well these wear out. I'm, I'm gonna do some hiking in them so we'll see how long this, this EVA lasts here but I'm not like a crazy hiker. I'm not like scrabbling up rocks or anything so it should be fine. Um, and it's, it's some pretty generous traction. Always these little things that you never even notice like you notice how this front edge of the traction here is chamfered, um, it's, it's angled, but this back edge is, is straight up and down, right? And that's because you think about 
when you're hiking, you're moving linearly and you're, you're kind of grabbing things in this direction, but not in this direction. So you're just getting that, that extra little bit of thought that's going into that. You could see it here too, right? With this kind of sawtooth, right? So it's angled in this way because you're coming down this way. So you, you want to, to kind of move that way. But then when you, when you pull, when you kind of push off, right? You're, you're pushing against these, these straight kind of wiper blades almost. And then a little bit more filled in rubber on the back here because this is going to be your highest wear area. So less cutting out so you get a little bit more wearability there. So I'm, I'm sure what the thought was. Um, otherwise, just a kind of a simple, clean design. Kind of nicely straddling that little, that zone between being a sneaker and a boot. Um, you have this little, little texture on the lace here that's you know, kind of, bungee cord reminiscent, kind of common in the space. I wonder if that's a little reflective, probably running through here, I'm gonna guess. Um, but it's just clean, you know, not a not a huge amount of branding, which I like, you know, like all the branding is up here on the tongue and high up on the heel. So if you're wearing a pair of jeans, that's all just kind of gonna go away. And just other than that, just a, a simple, uh, logo emboss here on the heel that's for tonal so very clean which which i like I, I don't tend to like a lot of wear a lot of brand marks um other than that let's see we've got a little little hang tag here impermeable waterproof it's not not no gore-tex uh badging though so i'm assuming not gore-tex but some other material that is waterproof. You don't, that's not the only waterproof material you can get. Um, and that is it. My first pair of Sorrells. Can't wait to get these out on the trail. What are these called again? Mac Hills. A little designer unboxing. If you like these videos, hit like, hit subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take it easy, everybody.